schicken la belle seine fiora e la fuggevo fuggevo ora si ne pria voluta di piante i dolci fremiti Poiché quello che ho alla cuore ogni potente va, mi piano, amore, amore, calici più cani baci avrà. island we have on the Mediterranean Sea. The Sardinia is about 24,000 square kilometers of land and about one and a half kilometers, one and a half million of uh, inhabitants. In this area we are on the northern part of Sardinia and this one is called the Archipelagos of La Maddalena.
belongs to the town hall of Palma, so it's a public theater. Well, next, Club Nautico, next marina, we're going to see on the right-hand side is the Real Club Nautico, so the Royal Nautic Club, literally translated into English, so the one where King Juan Carlos, as well as Prince Felipe, and Infanta, or Princess, you can say in Spanish, either Princess or Infanta, which is the youngest daughter of our King Juan Carlos, Cristina, they have three different sailboats in which they take part twice a year in these two uh, big international sailboat races which uh, take place here in the Bay of Palma. During the Easter holidays, the uh, Princess Sofia Trophy, they call it, which is already the biggest uh, sailboat race in the whole Mediterranean. So the city was destroyed and also the walls and they were rebuilt, the ones you can already see on the left, in the 13th and 14th century. We're going to show you now some interesting buildings. First one with the three flags up there, which is the Spanish flag, the flag of the Balearic Islands, and the flag of Mallorca. It's a building in Renaissance style from the 17th century, Consul de Mar, the name of the building. And this is and today... Also see how many belfries you see near the cathedral, some in uh, Gothic style, some other in Renaissance or even in Baroque. So Palma has got one of the biggest old towns in the whole country in Spain. Because in the Middle Ages, Palma used to be a rather big uh, port with some 25,000 inhabitants, which uh, was uh, really a big number of inhabitants for the 13th century. So it was a very important France, trade like uh, Marseille, Toulon, and about the same distance then from North Africa, from Algiers and Tunis. So that's why uh, Palma used to be already in the Middle Ages a big and important trade port. This is Sola with some 10,500 inhabitants. We're lucky, the sun is shining at last. That's what we need for this walk. We make now from this um, main road down to the station, which is close to the parish church. You can see it over there in the town center on the right. So as I told you, it's for about 15 minutes we're walking, but of course, no need to hurry up. Take it easy, please. And which is also very important, we should walk in, uh, in single file because as you can see already on the right, most of the streets here in Sola are rather narrow but with much traffic, with mopeds and cars going up and down. Uh, so best thing to do is walk in um, single file. Yeah, I think you were close enough to pick one. 
road here in this part of Palma some of, of his uh, most famous uh, works, some of his novels and poems. And in 1988 he was Nobel Prize in Literature. And now we already go up the hill and this forest, these pine trees, these evergreen oaks, these are the lungs, as people can say, of the city of Palma, which give uh, fresh air to breathe, so close to the center of Palma, to the port. So on weekends, um, you can see plenty of people sitting here underneath these pine trees, picnic, picnicking or some people also jogging or footing in these forest, pine forests of Belva, which means the Bellevue.
times. How far to the end? Let's see your foot. Let's see your new foot. Your new foot. Yay! Go off. Let's see Say night night. Say night night to the world.
It's a nice one. We have the Queen Mary coming over this uh, year twice. We still have to dig out the, the seabed a bit. <laughs> there where all the tall buildings are, that's the new Gibraltar. That's all been built in the last 10 to 15 years. It's all been reclaimed from the sea. This is the runway here, the landing strip. This is where they land right here, so keep your eyes out, wide open. <laughs> Let me know when you come here. Sure. Uh, there's nothing scheduled right now, but you know, could have an emergency landing. Next flight should be in at 10, I think it's about 11.30. We have flights from Luton to Gibraltar, Gatwick to Gibraltar, and then we have uh, Manchester to Gibraltar. At the top of the rock, you can see a flagpole. That's the Union flag, which has been flying there for 300 years. And uh, below the flagpole is a little hut which I've been up there myself. That's a military zone, but uh, I've worked for the Ministry of Defence before. And there's a little sign there with some, probably some army squaddies placed there many years ago. It says, one done 350 miles to London. It's pointing west, east, sorry. One done 350 miles to London. And then there's one pointing down, which says one done 350 feet to the sick bay. Okay, we have a set that's what I always think. It's a goals we can He's been a bit frustrated. Six weeks ago, he's not used to that. Yeah, I'm supposed to go back to work on Wednesday, so I don't know what will happen. That thing looks good when I first came. That's great, that's it. That's the table off your team, which is good. Have another shower. This is what I see in Paddy. As long as you don't put my foot down in the ground. Yes, I need that. I can't wait to have you for that. That's cheap. That's cheap. This was like uh, some people are selling for to build their own houses. This is probably the earliest house that we built.
And ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our premier sous chef, Mr. Lawrence de Sosa. And Madame the calories and all those extra pounds you're taking home with you, we have the executive pastry chef, Mr. Christophe Mazé. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time on a daily before moving to the new ship Arcadia, we have our premier sous chef, or should I say executive chef, uh, Mr. Trevor Connolly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of myself, Trevor, and our respective teams, we hope you've had an enjoyable cruise with us, and we look forward to seeing you again in the not too distant future. Thank you and good night. Thank you. See my sepia tones? Oh, I expect I don't have sepia tones. Uh -huh. Come on, no, you don't. Look, Not this this is old movie effect. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah. Gloria Swanson. Yeah, there she is. Boris Karloff. Yeah. <laughs> We've got that on here. No, you we don't. We will have in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Will you behave yourself? Is it, where is it on fire? Flambe. <clears throat> Can. I don't have any straight nose hairs you want. <laughs> Red up. <laughs> Ice cream as well. That is decadent. Oyster bread. 